Right, okay everybody, here we are. This is going to be the first maiden flight of my Tarot 680 build here. Running the running the Yi or Yi G Yi P2 Pro flight controller. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a compass test or compass calibration on it. I've already done this out my back, but I'll do it here out in the open now. Just to be sure, to be sure. To be honest with you too, I'm actually panicking a bit here. There is a wee bit of a breeze, but nothing really worth worrying about. So long as everything goes well. Uh, I took this off, the controller off, just before I came out of the house and recalibrate recalibrate the accelerometer on it. Accelerometer on it. Just to be sure, checked that it was receiving my uh, RC inputs and everything okay, etc, etc, etc. So this will be good fun. So turn on the control first. Okay, and um, we'll power up and see what happens. We'll power up the flight controller system here first. I thought it brought a battery alarm on me. Not that I need it, but we don't have it. Oh, come off it. This isn't going to work without a battery alarm. Friggy. There we go. So this this is only for testing. I have no OSD downlink at the minute. This is first initial test, so set this to what? Three point eight. 3.7 set at the 3.8 volts for now for the C so that's everything getting power now we're blinking twice here on the LED for the flight controller so I know it's bitten up LEDs are working so there we have one blink already I had a compass test, so just bear with me, do a compass test, I have my B switch here set for if I flick it down it's returned to home, automatically returned to home, so to start the compass test you need to flick it in to return to home, throttle right down, there, solid red light, means we're ready for the compass test, so flashing again which means that compass calibration is complete so I'll switch that off again I've been four minutes at this one already so we'll switch that off and what I'll do I'll disconnect everything let it sit for a second or two the top of the street big open field here so if it crashes well 
can crash into the street or into the field, sorry. To be honest with you guys, if you're listening, I'm panicking here. I'm shaking. <laughs> I literally am shaking here, so right. So the remote's on, not returned to home, and the gears down, they aren't used, right, right, that'll be for the gimbal and everything. We're in stabilised mode, it's hard to see that screen, but stabilised, so that would be stabilised, that would be GPS, and then that would be circle, which is a feature of this also. So we'll try it, we'll leave it stabilised for now until we arm it. Well, until it puts up. Well, right, so here goes nothing. So we'll boot up the system. And these wires, by the way, are just hanging here. Everything's sort of done temporary. I want to see if this is going to make sure this is going to fly before I start putting the gimbal reel on it and uh, battery holder and uh, stuff like that and finish it all off nice with the canopy and stuff. I don't really want to do a lot of work, just an awful lot of time building it. I'm going to change the antenna on this radio link also. I know it says you're not supposed to do it but I have sort of, I'm a amateur radio, is a, a part time hobby of mine as well. And I know an awful lot about antennas and antenna systems, so I know I can change this okay. Maybe even build the jewel. A lot of diversity, it won't be diversity, but I can run two antennas in phase, two small uh, 2.4 gig antennas in phase, so they'll need to be perfectly spaced, but I have plenty of room, which will definitely help gain as well. It should, should bring up roughly on, just roughly off my head, with an extra 3D, so 3 dB gain. So if I run a, a 6 dB antenna and put another one on, Run them both in phases, should have at least 9 dB gain on it, which will definitely increase the range on it. You know, not that I want to fly really far with it, but uh, I mean, it's more for just to so that it's safe within working range. So, right, we're flashing one time, which means we'll have GPS lock. Um, at the minute, now, right, here we go. So, ESCs have built it up, we're flashing once. <laughs> right, don't want to do this. Right, <coughs> so uh, we're switching into GPS mode. And I'm going to arm this and see what happens here now. So we'll arm it. So there we go, we're armed and ready to fly here. Propellers are turning and spinning, and I will see what will happen. So, wish me luck. This is the first time this is going to be off the ground if it works. Better not crash and burn, or I'm going to be so friggin' sorry. You know what? In fact, hang on, I'm going to stop here. Disarm it. I'm not going to chance taking off there. I don't know why I didn't do this in the first place. But, uh, this way if it topples over on takeoff, at least I'm on the grass. If it does topple over you'll not even see it anyway because I won't be putting this on YouTube <laughs> or Facebook or anywhere. Somewhere level as possible. Right, so didn't do nothing, still have GPS lock. It was disarmed there, so arm it again. Both controllers down into the middle. We'll have power. Everything sounds good and quiet. No noises from the motor, sounds quite balanced. So here we go, wish me luck. Oh my God. <laughs> We're just sitting above 50% throttle here. It's climbing slightly. There's a bit of drift in it there. But that was a smooth takeoff. That was very smooth. Oh my god, it's working. Look at that. Oh. 
just don't crash and burn. Please don't crash and burn. <laughs> or I will be sorry, right? We might as well try a wee bit of range on it here. I'll try yaw. I don't want to go too far with this now, but we'll check the landing gear. Landing gear down. I hope you can see this, guys. But this is the Tarot 680 Pro build running on the GE P2 Pro version uh, flight controller. Bit of yaw. Bit of drift in it there with yaw. But the compass isn't sitting centre on the board. But so far, the test is good. This is GPS mode. There's a bit of wind, so I don't want to fly and stabilise at the minute. I've never flown this and stabilise. And I don't know what way it would fly. So, and I'm not even timing how long this is in the air for. But I'll take it for a wee quick scooty across the field here. Come back again. I'm actually excited that it's flying. <laughs> about too much with this at the minute so so far test is good on it well, the test the test bring it down a wee punch here we'll have a look at it hope oh, you can see that okay that's it in GPS but it is fighting a bit of wind there so far, it's the wind here at the minute is blowing north, and you maybe see a bit of lean on it there. But it is uh, it's holding against that's it, and GPS mode sitting there. A wee bit of drift up and down, but with the wind, it's going to be affecting the barometer in it, so it'll be harder for it to sense its height, etc. Definitely positioning there. At the minute, it's very, it's quite cloudy here too. It's quite cloudy. It's get, it must have satellites because it's holding position well. Don't know many satellites, but there is holding. There we go, a bit more copy with it this time. <laughs> it climbs well in GPS mode too, I have to say. I'll be using this mainly probably for FPV, well, camera video shooting, not sport flying or anything like that, so. Smooth and slow is the way I want this to fly. I don't want any big sudden quick movements in it. Or, and it sounds nice and smooth there. I just don't know if you can hear that, but it's definitely sounding smooth. I don't know how long flight time is on it here either, but I don't know if you can hear that. There's like a wee small rasp, I think, on one of the motors, maybe. I don't know, I can hear something, but the props, there's a big wind pick up there. Big wind's affecting the motor on it. But uh, what was it saying there? My props, my uh, props need rebalanced. 
half balanced them a wee bit, but nothing, I haven't, I didn't spend any time on them. So maybe I'd sort of look at spending a bit of time setting up the props and stuff, but so far, that's amazing, I'm really pleased with that. Really, really amazed with that. First flight on the GE ever. As we're flying GPS mode here. Give it a wee wish forward, will we? Whoa! Oh! Alright, but the alarm set well long enough for me here. And the battery. Right, come on. Yoo! It worked. It friggin' worked. Disconnect that now, I can power it off. That's us. Run the gear down, edit GPS, controller off. You! Shamo! <laughs> <laughs> I'm well happy with that, well pleased. It's flying quite well there. First ever flight. Me bit of stuff to do till up, but so far. Cheers! I need a shower, I haven't had a shower all morning. <laughs> So there we go, people. Tart 680 Pro build running on the GE uh, P2 Pro. That's the first time I've ever used anything else other than APM as a flight controller. So I need to get a few bits and bobs still. Uh, telemetry kit, the downlink uh, for my uh, Android tablet as well. So waypoints and set plots on it. And there's still a lot of work to be done to this, uh, as in the gimbal, video transmitter system stuff. but. Like I say, initial test flight there. Uh, I'm really pleased with that. Really, really pleased. Uh, flew excellent. No issues. It took off really super well. I was surprised to see it taking off there in GPS hold mode. And it just left me off the ground a wee dream. So, there we go. Get over to the van here now before I turn the camera off. So, there you go, people. Put this wee video up and let the uh, GE have a look at it as well. I'm sure they'll be interested because I think this is GE's quite a new company and not many people have heard of them. You know, and getting help off them too at the minute was a nightmare because they speak Chai English on emails and stuff, and it's a wee bit difficult sort of getting a good understanding of what's going on with them, if you understand me. So all together, 18 minutes, I'll be able to work out from the video footage how much flight time I got there on that battery. By the way, I was running uh, the same battery as you, Lorenzo, if you're watching this. Uh, the uh, Multistar 10,000mAh uh, 4S, what is it, 10C battery. It's the same as the same as the one you have, so I need to, I need the up. I think I maybe need to go 16,000 or 20,000mAh. But there you go, folks. My name's Richard from Skycam NI. And this is my Pro uh, 680 turret build running the P2 GE uh, P2 Pro flight controller system. And first initial test flight, I was shaking, but over the moon, I have to say, really pleased with it. Well happy, well chuffed. That's it. Until the next time. Hee hee hee, Get you again. Bye bye.